welcome to Girls Rock Metal Detecting. This is the Gifts of Christmas episode. We're going to be showcasing some really cool items that have been dug from the ground and returned to people, and we're calling it the Gifts of Christmas. Rocking around the IT Christmas tree. And this was delivered to me today. So guess what Siren Kimmy's doing tonight? <laughs> We're gonna have a nice little glass of wine or two or three. Thank you for the wonderful bottle of wine. Hi, welcome to Girls Rock Metal Detecting. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are up in the relic room, as you can see. Relics everywhere. First up, we have Gary Fenn with the return of his World War II dog tag found over in Plymouth, England and sent all the way back to Boston, Massachusetts in the United States. So grab a glass of wine and hang out with us tonight. On the Fox 25 tonight, a Veterans Day surprise leaving a local widow shocked. And it wouldn't have happened without a man's discovery in England. The widow's husband fought for our country in World War II. And new at 6, Fox 25's Bob Ward with a story that had the woman thinking that it was too good to be true. What's this? At first, Gary Fenn didn't know what his metal detector found that day in a park in Plymouth, England. But right away, Gary knew this one was unique. Gary Fenn found it in a place called Devonport Park, an area steeped in naval military history. Gary talked to me over the phone from England. It's up a little signal, dug a hole, about three inches down. It literally jumped out as I lifted the, the turf. And once cleaned up, the item Gary found was this, an ID, a dog tag bearing the name Robert Edmund Maloney. Dog tag I've never found. Using Facebook and an American contact, Gary discovered the dog tag belonged to this man, Robert Maloney of Lowell. In 1944, Maloney was a sailor aboard the USS Archon, stationed in Plymouth, England. I think he lost that dog tag in the Plymouth Park in early 1944. He came to Plymouth in December of 43, and the ship stayed there until early 44, taking part in various maneuvers, obviously making, making plans for the D-Day invasion. Word that Robert's dog tag was found in Plymouth, England sure came as news to Robert's widow because she still has it, and this is it. It just made me feel like, is this real or is it just a joke? Stella Maloney is 91 now. She lost Robert 10 years ago. Stella tells me she thought news about a dog tag discovered in England was a scam. This day and age, you just don't believe anybody. But this looks like the real thing, and Gary tells me Stella's dog tag might come from a different war. I think you'll find they're either replacement ones, or they'll be more likely Korean War ones. For Stella, a nice remembrance on Veterans Day. It's almost like I think he's thinking about you now, you know? Right, right. we're thinking about one another. <laughs> I'm Bob Ward, Fox 25 News. We've also got some really cool ring returns, and it's an amazing thing what we do here in metal detecting, giving back to the community. And you forgot cranberries too, then suddenly we laughed and laughed, caught on to what was happening, that Christmas magic brought this tale to a very happy ending. A big, 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 huge thank you to Doug Sharpton for the Walking Dead copy uh, sent to me the other day. He is attempting to wake the dead with the zombie dark straight from the Woodbury Coffee House. I'm brewing a fresh pot here. So I'm brewing my first pot of the Walking Dead zombie dark. So we'll see if it really does wake the dead. Thanks, Doug.
very excited today because I am going to return an ID bracelet, a sterling ID bracelet that I found out in my yard to a gentleman who's 91 years old and uh, it's just a really good day for me because I love returning lost things to people and hopefully he'll be just as happy about getting it back as I was about finding it and maybe it'll be an early Christmas gift for him. First hit out here in the woods on a new spot and uh, cleaned it off and saw uh, got a wheat penny here. So that gives me an idea that we might actually find some silver out in this spot. This is I think it says 1933. Um, so that's prone. And I got some old, old trees. So here's hoping. Wish me luck. AC Pro out here at a new spot and uh, first. First signal, wheat penny. I think it's this 1933, but I'm not really sure. I'll have to check it out. But I'm digging out here in the woods. So hopefully we'll find something cool. Get back to you. Okay, still digging over here by the railroad tracks. There's a whole train station here. And I dug up this lock. It says S cylinder. Not sure about the date on that, but um, still pretty nifty. All right, so far the find of the day. Is a squash penny from the railroad tracks. Also got a wheat penny and some change today, so that was kind of cool. But um, just modern stuff, modern coins out here today. But that's pretty cool. It looks like an older penny. All right, there's the hole. And here's the find. I don't know if that's part of a shoe buckle or what. Looks like an L, <laughs> but it's broken off on both edges. So it looks it looks like it might be part of a shoe buckle. It was pretty deep. It was about eight inches down. Cool. Got a flat button. Looks like it's pewter. Now I lost it. Shank's broken off. But that is a cool looking flat button. I don't think there's anything on it. Awesome. We're out here digging with Asia. <laughs> Say hi, Asia. Hi. <laughs> and I got thrills in the dig over there. He just dug up an accordion reed. That's the first really promising thing we found, other than a lot of clad. So put some age out here so we're gonna dig out in this field oh, eight, inches. eight inches awesome so we're gonna start digging out in this field all right maybe we'll find something good same location got another accordion reed maybe it's just me but I think this is cool surface find I can't make out what it is, but it's cool. It looks like a flower. <laughs> Some old vinyl. All right, out here uh, digging a new property with girls in the dig. You just called me over. We got a bucket lister over here. First large scent. That's what I'm talking about. First any of us have done over here in our neck of the woods. 
Fisher all day. <laughs> a large scent. Congratulations. Thank you, Siren Kimmy. All right, let's go see if I can find one, maybe, possibly. Okay, this is a killer. Out in the same spot where Thrills in the Dig dug that large scent. Got this penny signal. And uh, the sucker is toasted. I cannot tell what it is. It looks old. Um, no idea what it is. Try to uh, get it home and get it cleaned up. See if we can figure it out. Um, but, I don't know. <laughs> it's a heartbreaker because I probably won't be able to tell what that is. Oh well, let's see what else we can find. Oh, it looks like a button-off, maybe a pair of jeans or um, maybe a bibs, overalls. I'm not really sure. Looks kind of old though. I don't know. If anybody knows what it is, give a shout out. I'll leave a comment below. Love to know. Got some detail on it. Get it cleaned up, maybe we'll figure it out. Oddly enough, the same hole, another identical button. Crazy. Okay, I'm pretty sure there are more buttons, zippers, and fabric over in this hole, but quite honestly, I am tired of digging them. Um, there are buttons with 13 stars. We've got two, four, six, eight of those. Um, just regular, these still have fabric on them. Five of those, that's a wheat penny I dug earlier. Um, two that say Sanford on them, or Sanfordized. A ribbon, a rusty old buckle. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've hit like the mother load of somebody's wardrobe or what, but um, kind of crazy. Um, I could keep digging these buttons all day, but I, I gotta get out of here. Um, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty crazy. Thanks for the wine. Really appreciate that. And thanks for joining us tonight. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Thank God we're hot chicks with superpowers. Thanks, yeah, Jeff. Comforting. Mm-hmm.